Yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome back to Grim Nasty TV. As I get deep into the deepness of deepness of deepy deepy deep 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 shit of deepness. Huh? I'm not in deep shit. I can see that I'm not. And that's the problem. <laughs> well, underneath the flat plane, you seen on Google, they exposed immediately that there's older children that are wearing the white suit that are helping younger children get past their hardships. And they know that hell, hell is for children and their lives can be such a mess while the balloon that is Mr. Cheeks sits above the flat plane in open air space is what they're telling you. These kids are trapped down there and they are being harmed by snakes. It looks like there's a snake slithering through it. Hmm. Very interesting. In a bad way. This shit, I don't like it. I don't fucking like it. I think it's fucking terrible. I think anybody that thinks this shit is cool is a piece of fucking trash. I think that this shit is horrible. I don't like it. And I think that it's becoming a problem for people. That's what it's starting to look like, that this is a huge fucking problem that I would not kill myself as a kid, that I would make it this far, that I would only just keep going, only to be avoiding all of this turmoil, to only come to the point of meeting the divine uh, feminine and then uh, having a job and then having all of these different things presume in the crate and then come out. What seems to be like uh, a divine happening, but uh, you keep on sun gazing. It doesn't seem like anybody's got control over how smart you get. Unfortunately, I have become the most unconfused man in the world, and I'm getting ready to show you some shit that's getting ready to make y'all throw the fuck up. And when you see this, maybe you might get on a boat. I don't know. But uh, let's just take a look at this wonderful bean footage here. And as to uh, the past 48 hours, this would be the that second day that I would be waking up two days before and then the day before that she would show up in the sky outside of the dome looking in with her son standing next to her completely free with his flesh and his in his armor and uh what I can tell is that uh nobody got their eyeball ripped out none of this shit it seems like somebody's making a cover for true evil. And uh, the tomatoes fly at the little ones. And uh, the, the president gets to hide. And that's what it looks like. Now, when it looked like that, what was it, two days ago? I'm talking to Mr. Cheeks, trying to like, hey, man, you got an explanation for me? How about you, Divine Feminine? How about you, Gabrielle? Y'all got any explanations as to why... Uh, you got your suit back and you got your hammer, but you can't go clean up the spilled milk that you created, bro, underground, and help these kids. Does anybody give a fuck about these fucking kids? I care about these kids more than everybody does. That's the fucking sad, horrible shit. I see that I give a fuck about these kids more than anybody, even more than God. Can you imagine that? Now, when I say the word God... I say the presumption of everything of what we believe to everything to be, but I'm not giving up any allegiance to anybody and I'm not giving up any flesh to anybody. It seems like everybody needs permission in here and it makes me wonder why. And one day I'm going to fucking find out maybe sometime really soon. Why does everybody need permission? Well, you don't have my permission to touch me at all with any fucking nonsense. You don't have my permission to take any presumption whatsoever to go against my own volition to fucking harm me in any kind of way. Seems like everybody just needs permission. These kids down here, these are daywalkers kids. They give up their kids willingly to the snakes. And these kids are down there and they're being food and all this stuff. And uh, I don't think there's one being that would be able to really stop this. Was that the case? I would think that they would just go clean up their own spilled milk. Let's take a look. At their presumed plan. If you listen to Drake, if you listen to MF Doom, they told. Now... If MF Doom is dead because of his allegiance to fucking monsters, because he's probably one his damn self, 
And Drake opened his mouth makes you think that maybe Drake might disappear next. <laughs> because they fucking talk too fucking much. And ego is inescapable. I talk too fucking much. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gets a big ass ego and it's called the super ego. You know what I'm saying? It's inescapable. Everybody's got it. Monsters got it. Everybody got a big ass ego in here. Now, what I can tell is that if I were to go underground, Drake said it. They come down here. They won't be making it back. You ever seen Glass? What happened to Bruce Willis? What happened to the Beast? What happened to Samuel Jackson? Whenever they have the superpower, somebody shows up with electromagnetic weapons like Ghostbusters and traps them in a facility. I make no except of that. This vision is not my volition. This is gutter trash. You need permission slips. It seems like everybody needs permission slips. And if it wasn't true, then there would be no such thing as a contract. There would be no such thing as a soul contract. There would be no such thing as an agreement or an obligation or any kind of golden rule that would spawn such contracts of treating each other as you would want to be treated yourself. And I'm going to tell you right now is I want plausible explanations. I want fucking reason. I want understanding that I can overstand and stand here and fucking know what the fuck is going on. And for the past two days, they have been completely ignoring me because why I think it's because I'm becoming way too smart and it is snowballing. The, two, the day before I was a different guy and now I'm a different guy today. I'm just getting smart as a motherfucker. I'm so fucking smart, it's fucking crazy. Well, let's take a look. Let's keep on going. Well, now I see why Shills sank the boat. Because Mickey is a pain in everybody's ass. Look at that. In the center of the earth in the big castle at the highest peak. There's a dragon queen. They showed us that on Samurai Jack. They showed us that on Dr. Doolittle. She's got military in her lower bowels, creating a stench over the fucking plant, uh, plane. And everyone's like, what is that smell? We need to go figure that out. You see it on Dr. Doolittle. He reaches inside and, and helps her out and pulls a bunch of military shit out of her bow and the dragon, right? So why in the fuck does Mickey Mouse going up against Malneficent? Hmm. Makes you wonder. Might have something to do with the reason why I'm not getting any answers from any of them. And they have not been talking to me for the past two days that I have been feeling some kind of way. Maybe that's the reason why I did get this job so I could be distracted. Passing out a bunch of brochures to a teaspoon of people that are left in the world amongst a bunch of day walkers who probably just throw them in the trash. And a 42 event that would be surrounded by a bunch of fucking vampires in the heart of California. A big distraction where I would probably sell nothing and create a huge debt with some investors. You know, just a bunch of bullshit. And I can see it. And uh, seems like it's just a huge problem for everybody. Everybody just doesn't like it. Well, I don't give anybody any except. I don't give any cherubs any except to be badass and come rip the top off of my bus and hurt me in any kind of way. I don't give anybody any permission to do anything because it looks like that's what you all need. You all need a bunch of fucking permission slips. Makes you wonder why. Is there somebody else out there? Hmm. Let's take a look again. Now, I'm not the artist. I'm not the artist, folks. All the green phantasms come out. The Ghostbusters try to catch them. But if I go to the fucking Rainbow Bridge, huh? The highest peak. Look at her face, bruh. <gasps> Fuck out of here. No. This motherfucker's like, I really don't want to do, I don't want to, oh, I don't want to do nothing. I still feel like, can't motherfuckers just get along in this motherfucker and love each other without love meaning cannibalism? Would hollow be his name evil spelled backwards? I make no except. Look at this shit. See, this is what I wasn't supposed to figure out. If I had went into a light body in this place, acting a total ass, I might have ended up in a glass situation, which I make no except of that. But this is Mickey going to the Rainbow Bridge, y'all. And I bet you as soon as I hit the Rainbow Bridge, that gold, that's that real gold that really fucking does just like Queen of the Stone Age that gives them illumination. <laughs> it's going to bring forth Mickey, bro, right on the Rainbow Bridge. Can you imagine this shit? 
Fuck out of here. What is this shit? Look at this shit, guys. The final battle. Grim Nasty versus God. Look at this shit. I can't even make this shit up. I didn't fucking create these illustrations. The Dragon Malneficent versus Mickey Mouse. Now do y'all understand why I'm so fucking depressed? The job was a fluke, guys. This place is a fucking fluke. You understand? Is I'm supposed to face her? I'm supposed to go to the highest peak and face her, bro. Look at this shit. Look at what they look at these prophecies, bro. Who's who's prophesizing all this shit? Look at this. Look, it looks like Malnificent might be a cannibal. Look at that. See, when I come to the fruition of super illumination, which they don't have control over because the brain and the, and the light has its own connection, and has its own processes. Obviously, nobody has control over how smart I get because I'm just getting smart than a motherfucker. Look at this. This is her vacay mode. See this? Nasty. That's nasty. Look at this. House of Villains. Malneficent. Mickey Mouse sitting in the center of the, of the, of the flat plane. And Donald Duck and Goofy... Looks like they are next in line. I seen that rocket, rocket man with fucking Mickey going up there and Donald was clapping. See this shit? <laughs> Who's the bad guy? Isn't it, isn't it the most high? What? How? How? What? I'm pissed. Well, I need an explanation. Ain't nobody going to give it to me. Maybe I'm too smart. Maybe I'll just see through it. And then realize it for what it is. Somebody's going to talk and it's going to be their worst fucking talking. They're going to be like, oh, but this, this, and this. And I'm going to be like, that's some bullshit. That's how smart I've become. I've become so intelligent. I must be the most unconfused motherfucker in the world. Maybe even the most smartest man in the world. You want to know what else? You can take your technology and your industrial booms and all of the stuff that you thought was something in this world. And you can just shove it right where the sun doesn't shine. Because none of it means anything. None of it's real intelligence. None of it creates anything. All of this shit is created with magic. All of the real true ingenuities of the world that are the real true modern marvels to be marveled is magical, not industrial. Everything that everybody thinks they know about science and all this shit ain't nothing but a bunch of bullshit. And y'all being distracted. Look at these motherfuckers, bro. They under the table. They scared in the motherfucker. But clearly I'm not, because I'm making a video right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this fucking shit. I done, I done blew the fucking, I done blew the fucking cover off the whole fucking scheme. Look at this shit. Vacay mode, another one. I'm tired of making excuses for this shit. When I, po when I put that picture in my icon, I did this. I cropped it out because I was just like something bothering me with this whole chewing into a chocolate Mickey. Fuck out of here. I make no accept. Everybody needs permission slips in here. Well, you ain't getting my permission to be somebody's fucking plaything, some kind of food. Oh, here she comes. She's a man eater. I see it. I get it. That's why, that's why you smacked me in the face with the wood. It's because I was onto it. Way before back in the day. Why you let your son come up here and hurt those fucking blue people? Why you let your son come up here and fuck everybody over? Why you sitting back all powerful and shit and you can stop this nigga in his tracks, but you ain't never stopped this nigga and now I see this nigga with his full shit on? Fuck out of here. Nothing but a bunch of fucking liars. I make no except. Who the fuck is this? Hanging out with the high cheekbones with damn reptilians, bro. Who? So you think you can tell. Heaven from hell. Blue skies from pain. Can you tell a green field from a cold still rain? A smile from a veil. Do you think you can tell? Did they get you to trade your heroes for ghosts? Hot ashes for trees. Hot air and a cold breeze. Cold comfort for a change. Did you exchange a walk on part in the war for a leading role in a cage? Ooh, baby. I make no except. Listen to this shit. Listen to this Hey Mickey song, bro. I run across this shit. I run across this shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So you've been around all night, and I think that's a little long. I've been around this motherfucker for fictional 42, fictional years, which I don't 
apply a 42 to my flesh, which I would only do proudly to just to be a fiction that I would blindly think that would give somebody permission. I make no except. See how smart I am now? Hey, Mickey, you've been out all night. The night means the summer. You understand? This is the school's out for summer. And this hot time in the city. You understand? So in the night, it's the darkness. So this means I've been out way too fucking long. This is Divine Feminist. See, I've been running around way too fucking long. Hey, Mickey, you've been running around all night, and that's just a little long. You think you've got, a, you think you've got the right, but I think you've got it wrong. Can't you say goodnight so you can take me home, Mickey? Because when you say you will, it always means you won't. You're giving me the chills, baby. Please, baby, don't. Every night you still leave me all alone, Mickey. What? Don't you realize that I'm aneurysing the center of my brain to try to break out? <laughs> Does anybody really understand me? What I'm going through? The spraying shit in the air got me stuck in a middle ground place. And I'm starting to realize that that's probably the best place for me. To stay in this middle ground. A fucking monster can't touch you. You sure as fuck aren't a light body to be trapped by Ghostbusters. See what I'm saying? This is the place where nobody wants me to be. In the middle ground where I'm still human and I still have ability to defend myself with defenses in my immune system. From DNA activation. Hmm. I'm seeing way too much and I'm getting way too smart. And that's what it is. <laughs> and it's a big problem that she hasn't been showing up lately and I wonder why. <laughs> oh, Mickey, what a pity. Don't you understand? You take me by the heart when you take me by the hand. Oh, Mickey, you're so pretty. Can't you understand? This guy's like you, Mickey. What you do, Mickey? Don't break my heart, Mickey. <laughs> what? See what I'm saying? Listen to this shit, bruh. Here's some more for you. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. All right, so it keeps going. Every time you move, I let a little more show. There's something you can use, so don't say no, Mickey. Well, I've seen too much. Anybody got any explanations for what you've been showing me? Nope. They show you this shit because they're obligated. I wonder why. Otherwise, I'd be left in the dark without any fucking understanding as to why three entities are sitting on my couch, fully armed up, like uh, they're my friends. Hmm? Maybe they're not my friends. See this shit? I'm telling you, bro. Very interesting. I'm just a pain in everybody's ass. That's what it is. I'm a big pain in the ass. Seems like they got a good operation going. And uh, here comes the monkey wrench. I smell a dirty rat. Ah, oh, yeah. I smell a rat. I'm fucking totally depressed. I'm so ultra depressed, it's fucking sad. Because I can't get an explanation for these epiphanies. I can't get a straightforward answer. And guess what? In the law, which I still make no accept of being understanding but overstanding, is that is tacit procreation of guilt. If somebody doesn't come and say, look, you're wrong because of this, this, and that, and this, what does that prove? That everybody's lying? Why in the fuck would they ever create fucking Mickey Mouse versus Malneficent? Think about it. The final battle. The final battle? What? What the fuck is this shit? Can't we all just get along? Seems like. People don't want to get along in here. It seems like there's a lot to overstand. <laughs> seems like I've got a lot to be sad about. <laughs> seems like there ain't going to be no 42 event because that was just a fluke. Seems like a bunch of bullshit. I'm just making a bunch of models, passing out a bunch of brochures, wasting my time. Well, that's over. I'm no longer the fool. I see what's going on now. And uh, when you see things for what they are, maybe it's a design, maybe it's a disguise, or maybe you're awake. And when you get awake, stay awake.